Welcome back to Uprising. I'm Sonali Kohatkar. We turn now to yet another anniversary. Five years ago today, then Governor of Arizona Jan Brewer signed into law one of the most controversial pieces of state legislation on immigration in recent memory. Senate Bill 1070, the Support Our Law Enforcement and Safe Neighborhoods Act, enabled police in Arizona to demand immigration documents of anyone they stopped, detained, or arrested. Failure to have proper federal documentation resulted in a misdemeanor crime in the state. The law also gave a broad latitude to police officers to enforce federal immigration laws and criminalized the transportation, hiring, or shelter of undocumented immigrants. Passage of SB 1070 prompted major protests all over the nation, including calls to boycott Arizona. While the state legislature attempted to amend the law to address some of the concerns, it mostly remained intact. Meanwhile, legal challenges to SB 1070 made their way through the U.S. Supreme Court, with justices rendering a mixed decision in 2012. Many of the most draconian sections of SB 1070 remain unchained. Unchanged, that is. How has Arizona been transformed over the past five years by what people are referring to as the Show Me Your Papers law? And how are immigrants' rights activists marking this fifth anniversary? Joining me to answer those questions is Gerardo Torres. He is an activist with the group Puente based in Arizona. Welcome to Uprising, Gerardo. Thanks for joining us. Well, first, can you explain, because it is a little confusing, uh, which aspects of SB 1070 remain intact after the Supreme Court ruling? What can Arizona police legally do to undocumented immigrants, and what are they actually barred from doing? Uh, for um, SB 1070 is one part of the deportation machine from the federal government. Um, is, is SB 1070 and Sheriff Arpaio are the um, the ones deporting the victims of SB 1070, even with the ex executive action from President Obama. And we believe at the end of that, um, the president um, uh, time on office, uh, he's going to be the, probably deporting about 3 million people. 